all, thanks very much for coming along today to the protest of the uh, criminal activity by the bankers and uh, receivers in this country. I'm just going to read out a letter that we're going to send in to Savills and then I think we'll call it a day. We might go up to uh, the hotel up the way there for a coffee or something like that. So basically it just says, Dear Savills, you work against the people of Ireland for a horde of criminal banks who are supported by the political government puppets who would impose financial slavery on us all. In a time of unprecedented global awakening, the people of Ireland are rapidly becoming aware of how they've been kept in financial bondage for centuries. The veils of deception and fraud carefully woven by the banks are being torn apart. People are fast discovering how cunning banks have conned them into giving up their labour, property and freedom. They see how years of their precious energy and toil have been stolen by the financial terrorists who have long kept us in a state of death, misery and fear. But now the tide is rising fast and a tsunami of anger is beginning to roll towards the banks, receivers and their political followers. A worldwide, a worldwide revolution against fraud and corruption grows by the day and the Irish are demanding truth, justice and the cry of the furious person. Fraudsters beware, beware the people who are becoming awake. In recent years there is a number of people throughout the world who are stumbling upon a massive deception that the banks have been fiercely trying to keep secret for years. There has been much dishonesty and trickery in the field of banking with their fra fractional reserve lending which is a gigantic confidence trick that allows banks across the globe to create money out of thin air and charge interest on it. Charging interest on money created out of nothing is a crime known as usury and a compliant judiciary and law society accommodates this banking fraud in the courts every day of the week. The banks create money at virtually no cost to themselves and the people have to exchange their goods and services for it. In effect, giving up their priceless life's energy to the banks for worthless bits of paper. In this way, the banks steal the labour and billions of people in what is the greatest robbery in the history of mankind. Banks control and manipulate the people of the world through debt. Most countries in Europe are now prisoners to bank debt. Debt created by the banks out of thin air. Modern banking is a colossal Ponzi scheme. 95% of the money in the world today is created as debt. The banks, the banks are aided and abetted by the legal system, the government and receivers like yourselves. We are, unsure, we are unsure if you are aware of the history of this country or whether you are aware that the people of Ireland are sovereign and protected under the constitution for unscrupulous companies like yourselves. Are you aware that banks were involved in any fraud? Are you aware that banks broke serious liquidity laws? Are you aware that banks sold on the loans and are not an injured party? Are you aware that Irish people were forced to bail out the fraudulent banks? If not, where have you been for the last number of years? And if yes, do you operate for such scrupulous banks? Is it true you work as receivers for Anglo-Irish Bank, one of Europe's most toxic banks? The cheek of Mark Reynolds and Glenn Cran moving in on Irish farms and businesses without the owner's consent. You are all now put on notice that your unlawful actions will be fought every step of the way. We demand to see your insurance bond and put your insurance company on notice to make sure you are well covered for the several claims that will be coming against you. We demand you cease and desist your illegal activity forthwith. Regards, People for Economic Justice. Yeah. Well done. Sorry, God.